All right, you got all the school supplies, right? Well, no, actually, we don't. We're still shopping for ours. But it is time to make sure the kids are good and organized before they go back for that day one. Yes, they have to be. Joining us this morning is Brendan McDaniel of Action Organizing Services and his lovely son, Jeremy, who's going to be the model, hand model today. We're kind of acting like kids just coming into school, coming back from school and dropping stuff off. So, Jeremy, why don't you put your backpack right here on the table? Jeremy, how was your day? <laughs> that's so that's how, how it is. you do it? That's exactly oh, how it is. Just throw it in there. So, the first thing, um, it, it's good to get ready for when the kids come home from school or when they're going to school, is to set up a place for their backpacks and their coats and hats and boots. So, okay. like a little it's really rack important. Kind of thing. So, you have a place so you get to a say, routine. Did you put your things there. Right. Go put right. your shoes and in. And obviously, with the weather changing, we're going to have different kinds of uh, items, well, things, but yeah. it's if you have one set place for everything to go, that really, really helps. Right. Okay. And I mean, it's different for a kid Jeremy's age, but my kids, if you duplicate what they have at school with their hook, then it kind of works better at home. Give them their cubbies. Yeah, a cubby. Yep. I'm sure Jeremy's cubbies really <laughs> cute. All right, so we open up the backpack. Okay. And we're like, oh my, look at all the stuff they brought home. And uh, right. loosely organized at best here, right? And then we have. Uh, their artwork. Artwork and everything. One thing I like to do right away that really helps and with clients I work with is you take a pencil because pen wears out after a while. And right when you get the piece home, just write in, you know, this is uh, the date August 2011. Wait. And then, you know, which son it is, or, okay. or daughter. <laughs> yeah, put the artwork's really good. Too, so so yeah. then I, you know, that way, then when you get... Uh, Pencil lasts longer, huh? That's interesting. Right. Okay. Well, uh, during Katrina, they noticed when they were doing the cleanup, a lot of people that had things in pen and marker, it just disintegrated. It washed out. But pencil yeah, stays for... So this will survive Okay, more. that's good. So then this but is something I picked up. That's only if it's a keeper, right? Because we do our best to minimize. We'll wait till the kids right. aren't looking, and then it goes and gets recycled. Or you can be like my kid and find it in the trash and go, why did you throw this away? Because <laughs> it was awful. It's yeah, terrible. Right. It wasn't personal. It, some kids are really sentimental where they want to hang on to everything, yeah, and other right. kids could care less. So it's good to find a balance and if you can you know like with this item this would be neat this i think this is a coat of arms that they made jeremy made years and years ago oh good it wasn't just and, last month you know, nice job, maybe jeremy. this would be a neat thing to uh laminate we send to grandpa okay um, out in arizona that would be neat because you yeah. know jeremy made Perfect, it, yeah. and it um, yeah. if we didn't have Symbol any of the people family. Coat or of arms you know here's another piece that one of the kids made this would be a good item to you know, perhaps give to a neighbor or someone, you know, that doesn't have any grandkids or someone doesn't have kids or a nursing home. Yeah. They, just getting something really warms up their lives and helps them. Sure. It does. It does. Now, the things that you do want to keep and not give away to the grandma and the neighbor, you're putting them in this thing. This, this is, is acid-free. This is a folder I picked up right at up Hobby here. Lobby. Okay. But other places have them, too. Acid-free. Why is that important? What that do? The, some of the paper... Um, by putting it in here, it's going to last longer and it's not going to leak or oh, so the it's going to be protected yeah, better. Okay. So this is just the portfolio the that you can pick up. You? This one was only $15. Okay. So that luckily it fits this big thing too. So See, that might be smarter. You yeah, can, there you go. then you got it all and if you, you have can multiple save kids, you can and label it. One of them. So then you have it all. Right, that's nice and flat. You could get different colors for every different kid. Yeah, mm. that's a good idea. So. And then when they go off to college, you can go, here's your school life, take, take it, it with, with you. <laughs> that would be good. Okay, right, and is so. the backpack, is this important at all? I mean, all these different well, cubbies and stuff it's, I have. It's important to put the, hang the backpack with the coats and stuff every night at the same place. And yeah. instead of right when the kids come home, they throw it on the table or on the floor or whatever and go get a snack and watch TV. Mm. Right. So the, you really work on getting them in the habit of, putting it there, um, that will help out tremendously. Right. Okay. Then you know if it's now, missing. I right. like these are, um, I picked one of these up at a rummage sale over the weekend, mm -hmm. and these um, are much better for papers than the lying them down flat, because when you it stack is. papers, they get, get buried, you don't find True, what yeah. it is. And it's good to p keep the construction paper in there, I found. Right. You know, once you take it out of the pack and it's all falling around, just put yeah. it right in there. We only have about 15 seconds. I know you okay. have a gift card you want to tell people about. 
Yes, uh, you can have a contest. Uh, whoever calls in, this will be one hour free organizing from Action Organizing. Oh, oh that's great. All right. So. Well, thank you guys very much. Jeremy, thank you for being our prop. And I'm sure you're very well organized, so I appreciate you coming yeah, here. Yeah, his eyes get real big. No, Dad just makes me. That's the way it is. <laughs> All right, we're going to be sharing some of our Milwaukee memories coming up. Some old school. <laughs> Come on,